looking clean with this green on. Oh, that's some bars too. I ain't even mean to say that. I ain't even mean to do that, bro. It just come natural, no cap, and I don't even rap. <laughs> nah, we're, we back with another video, man. Look at the merch. Creative mischief. You feel me? Shout out to my guy. Mm -hmm. But we back with another vid, man. 2021 NBA jerseys. They got new jerseys, so we back to the view. You know what I mean? Might throw a little rate in there. And if I see a sweet jersey, might mention some kicks that might go with it, because you feel me, niggas wear jerseys. But anyway, man, if you've been watching, I appreciate it. If you been watching, still watching, you feel me? You subscribe, you've been sharing, appreciate it, man. You feel me? We going up. One day at a time, no cap. Anyway, we about to get into it. 2021 and sportslogos.net is bringing you team by team breakdown, all 30 teams, all 30 city uniforms right here, right now. Let's go. The 76ers are back in black and you have Ben Simmons to thank or blame for it, depending on your point of view. A couple of years ago, Simmons tweeted his wish for a return to black and the team responded with a challenge. If you win the rookie of the year, you'll get your... They I they, they, they like some some practice jerseys though. Wish. We all know what happened after that. They like some practice. Design here jerseys. is inspired by the houses along Philadelphia's Boathouse Road, as well as a throwback to the old Allen Iverson era from the late nineties. And yes, that is a TTP hidden there in the houses to the team motto of trust the process. That's all. Milwaukee Bucks are giving us a bit of a history lesson by giving us the origin of the city name Milwaukee. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. Thank you very much, Alice Cooper. Yes, that is one of the origin stories for the name. They are, but they look like some some Mavericks jerseys or something. They need to go back to that green and that green and brown, that green and tan jerseys. That, that color scheme is hard. Everybody got the regular old blue, red, black, red. Yeah, my autumn basic color, that green and tan this was different. Milwaukee. The Bucks are choosing to focus on another one, which means the gathering place by the water. And you can see that in the design of this uniform. It's blue, it's three shades of blue, which is very unconventional for the Milwaukee Bucks, who usually go green and cream. It that, is inspired by Lake Michigan, all the rivers that run through Milwaukee. They not it. I get them like the I get that jersey like a six, six out of ten. When I get six out of Chicago ten, the Bulls are going to black and gold in a tribute to the architecture of their that. city. Chicago is written across the front in a typeface very similar to that used on the sign yeah, in right. the city. Along with the words, no little plans, a quote from city planner Daniel Burnham, who was instrumental in rebuilding Chicago following the great Chicago fire back in. They are right. being that Jordan played for the Bulls and a lot of his shoes, the like OG colorways, got that red, black, red, white, black, white, and they had a gold in it. That's all right. I get that like a seven. <laughs> Ain't that Cleveland much, Cavaliers are honoring their city status as the home of rock and roll with this ransom note style jersey this season. Trash. If you look at the Cleveland word mark across the chest, you can see uh, that it's made up of bits and pieces from the logos of several legendary rock bands and artists over the years. Look at the V. That's the V from the David Bowie logo. The D from the Pink Floyd logo. And the playing, bro. The shorts, you will see that they have like band stickers, like classic retro band stickers. Look at that, except they're all Cleveland cap. Okay, the short. They got pockets. I thought you could wear pockets in the NBA on your shorts. Or is that just sticks? I don't know. But the, the shorts hard with the stickers on it. Little details like that hard. Steamed. The Cavs <clears throat> you to rock and roll. When you've won the most championships in league history, you've earned the right to celebrate that a little bit. And the Boston Celtics will do just that with their new City Edition uniform, designed to resemble the many, many, many NBA championship banners that hang above the court at TD Garden. 
Take a look at that. Okay. The word mark across the chest and the number looks very much like that's cool. Same font, same style, very basic, but they plain, but it's simple. It's simple, but it's clean. That's ain't it's, just, it's gonna look clean on the court. It ain't gonna look clean on the court. I get it like a six. Cause it ain't really that much. It looks good. <clears throat> it's got a great story attached to it. The LA Clippers are going with a simple They're like the same jersey of what they wore last year for this exactly. uniform. What once was white is now black. The design, just like last year, created in partnership with artist Mr. Cartoon, as well as graffiti artist Royal Dog. Together celebrating the authentic spirit They're like of the same LA jersey Street with the look. They had the same jersey, but a little blue and red script on the show, on the sleeves, bro. The Memphis Grizzlies are honoring uh, a local artist and legend songwriter Isaac that Hayes. Boy, nice. This uniform is black with gold and teal trim and incorporates Hayes' signature in gold in the lower left corner of the That's jersey hard. as well. That's hard. See? Like, little detail like that, dude sitting there and the little glasses on the shorts, bro. That's hard. That's hard. The shorts get like an eight. Eight and a half. This is trademark sunglasses there on the shorts. Isaac Hayes is most known for singing the uh, theme from Shaft as well as... Jerry's to get like a seven. Music. You probably know him as the voice of Chef from South Park. Isaac Hayes being honored by the Memphis Grizzlies. The Atlanta Hawks will honor the life and work of Dr. Martin they Luther tell. King Jr. Born and raised in Atlanta. The Hawks have partnered with the King they State are. Just, Not just because it's M.A.K. But that's a plus, but... They hard. You can't go wrong with the black and gold, though. For real, for real. That colorway, the gala is just tough anyway. Better put some DMP sixes, any DMP shoe over there. Hooping that. Or the China Moon LeBron. This uniform in infinity black. The China Moon LeBron would be tough because it's a majority white, white shoe. Initials MLK across it's the chest. The white out King's signature also already. appears in the lower left corner of the jersey. Proceeds from the sale of the jersey will go to... How'd they get his signature? Aunt been dead forever. He ain't signed that shit. Empowerment programs for Atlanta's That's communities. Plagiarism. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. And for the Miami Heat, they are ending their very, very popular they vice series. They did have them colors on. With what they're calling did the they put vice versa them? jersey. Originally conceived as a trip back through time to the Miami they nightlife had of the like 1980s. That. And the neon signs that lit up the city the downtown. Pink and the blue. This extremely colorful uniform caps off four straight seasons of vice uniforms for the Heat. The first one introduced way back in 2017. Did you know Charlotte, North Carolina was the home of the first U.S. branch? That's hard. That's hard. I don't know if it's the shoes that brought it all together. Because them shoes, if you know them shoes right there, that ain't perfect for that uniform. They got all the same colors in it, bro. And the black. Underarm um, the black um, tights and the sleeves just set it off even more. That's hard. And they sponsored by Jordan. So you know, they better have some feats for them. That shoe right there is perfect. Mint. I well, get that like you a. Do now. And that's thanks to the Charlotte. I get that like green a. Green city uniforms <clears throat> with gold and granite striping. This piece tribute like an eight and a half because Mint you can wear that fit in the Carolina streets, Gold bro. In the early 19th. Them shoes, that jank, that jersey with a black tee under it, black thermal, however you want to wear it, some black jeans. That'd be tough. A century. The gold. All black with that that that, that mint green standing out. Granite. That's gonna be hard. Granite's the state rock of the Hornets home state of North Carolina, of course. The Utah Jazz, who were the only team to wear the same city edition like the same game jazz they seasons, had. have finally changed things up, but not that much. What we have is a simple recoloration of their previous city look. It's now black. They've entered dark mode, as they like to say. Still, it's a tribute to the Red Rock. That's tough. Utah, a gradient from yellow to orange to red before giving way to Good way to keep up with time. But being that everything if you having dark mode now. You get if you combined a bunch <clears> of different <throat> uniforms from a team's history. Wonder no more. The Sacramento Kings are doing just that with their new City Edition uniform. It's a trip through the team's visual history, beginning with their 1980s powder blue set, their infamous checkerboard jersey from the 90s. They're all... That middle jersey right there is hard, bro. That's what they need to bring back. That and that that baby blue jean right there on the on the left. 
Damn hot. The black road uniform of the 2000s topped off by the sack town lettering from See that blue one on the left is better than this one in the middle. Cause the font, the lettering, the letter the placing of the letters in the um the King's logo, that's hard. City jersey last year, and here you have it. The new Sacktown City Edition jersey for 2021. And uh, as you can see it's black with powder blue. They are right, though. Check the board up the side. They are right. you can throw them on with the powder blue threes too. If you know what the powder blue threes is. You know something about kids, cause that that's that'd be hard with them. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. There you go. A combination of all jerseys. That's your Sacramento Kings. The New York Knicks are collaborating with local fashion brand Kith with these bizarre. That's black tough, but them jerseys is trash. Uniforms for a few games in the upcoming season. I like some the chest features red, a circular yeah. logo with the phrase "City Never Sleeps" above the team name. A gradient goes down the side of each side of the jersey as well as each pant leg on the shorts that's trash your defending champion los angeles lakers are continuing with their <clears throat> lore series that's this year turning to honor elgin baylor a hall of fame small forward who played for the lakers starting with the club when they were still in minnesota way back in 1958 to the 1971 yeah, season. This uniform know. is in the same blue and white scheme that the lakers wore during baylor's time with the club until 1967 with some silver thrown in for good measure the lakers this year honoring the six any unc joy would that be hard from minnesota to los angeles in 1960. Or the white force another orange themed uniform for their city edition set never go wrong with the white force pinstripes stripes and star across the uh, logo on the chest are a throwback to the magic's past uniforms dating all the way back Facts. to the late 1980s That's hard, though. while also updating the look to include the color orange what happened to the To the um team sticking to their original colors, bro. I could I don't think the Magic ever had no orange. Like, what happened to them sticking to the original logo colors? Present the bright future of tomorrow. The orange is also a nod to the sunshine and the citrus industry, both very, very important to the state of Florida. True. The Dallas Mavericks will be they celebrating are. both the 10th anniversary of their 2011 championship as well as the 40th anniversary of their franchise. They is hard, bro. Look at the short. It's like they got the wings on it. They hard. Hooping in with the the bronze, China Moon LeBron. That'll be tough. They hard, bro. They get like a eight and a half. It's with this new gold. Only eight and a half because it's white. I mean, if you hooping in it, it'll be probably get like a nine. But if you wearing it out, it'll be like a. Like for streetwear, I get like a seven. Eight and silver uniform. The team seven and a half, eight. Name of in between them. Just in gold player number and name in silver. And up the side of the shorts are the wings of the Pegasus. That's which is a nod to a mythological creature which has watched over the city of Dallas all these many years. Here it is, the Dallas Mavericks City Edition uniform for 2021. The Brooklyn Nets are carrying on their theme of honoring a local artist with their annual city uniform, and this time, it's Brooklyn-born Jean-Michel Basquiat. The weekend. The, street the weekday. The 70s before making a very successful transition to galleries in the 80s. This jersey is black, with BKLYN Nets across the front. The background detail is tough, but designs, featured on either side of the jersey, as the well as the name. team word mark on the chest. In Basquiat style. I ain't feeling that. It's Denver different. Nuggets though. are finishing up their Skyline uniform series with a new they flat hard. irons red version of this design. If y'all know the Nuggets, the Skyline thing jerseys was the hardest ones, bro. They had the white one. I think they had a the yellow one, the blue one. I had the blue one when I was flat younger. Irons red selected. It's in hard though. To the state of Colorado's landscape. That's hard. Denver Nuggets I get that like an eight. Their eight and a half streetwear. Well, that'd be like a, a nine. Back See that white one right there? Eight. Tough, bro. You can't go wrong with that one. With the colors in the back. That's a classic jersey right there. I had the same jersey. He's all the way through to the early 1990s. Call it a reverse retro if you like. That's this hard. is the last of the Nuggets Skyline series. 
Lagana streetwear. Nah, streetwear. The Pacers will be throwing back the classic uniform design to something very much inspired by what they used to wear back in the late 90s. Exactly, the classic. You can't go wrong with that. That, that was a good. It is a blue uniform with yellow pinstripe. That's a good That's a good uniform right there. The team wore a uniform just like this when they went to the 2000 Pacers, that's a good uniform. And I think it's safe to say <clears throat> Reggie Miller would be proud of this one. That's a good uniform. That's well, a nice. are taking the name City Jersey to heart. Oh, they are. Straight up putting the flag of New Orleans right across the entire uniform. That's three horizontal bands of red, white, and blue. And three gold. It's hard that they put the logo right there instead well, the of the word. Has a blue stripe at the bottom. This won't be seen during gameplay. It'll be tucked into the shorts. But the shorts have their own blue stripe at the very that, bottom of each way. finish the whole. Completing week. the overall flag look. Yeah, that's cool. I spent nine years in and out of the place. Yeah, I, so I could have did some better designs than that, though. Someone with a history like mine. Real, for real. But within three to four days of searching on Indeed. I could have did some better. What's your favorite jersey, man? Let me know what y'all think. The Detroit Pistons are honoring, yeah, you guessed it, Detroit's history Motor as City. the Motor City. They've done nothing else in Detroit except make cars. That's what I've learned from the Detroit Pistons. That. This uniform is blue and red. With they uniform a suck, though. logo around the player's number. The team says this uniform is reminiscent of vintage automobile emblems, bold highway-like striping up the sides, and gears added around the Detroit Pistons logo on the side of the shorts. Here it is, the Pistons city uniform. The Toronto Raptors are once again like working with Drake, their most famous fan, by sporting a black and gold uniform. This nigga Drake is winning, bro. Man, I look good. This nigga Drake is winning. He's great. Got a whole NBA team. Uniform inspired by him, and I and that black and gold is definitely his OVO thing, too. Now that you think about it, but Jordan, that's hard. I'm trying to do one of them soon. One day, I'll be you feel me? Maybe I can help make a uniform inspired by the color scheme of his OVO fashion. What I tell you. Uniform features Toronto across the chest and the team's original typeface. That's hard. Along with a jagged line across. The oh, them shorts tough. That whole uniform get a tan, bro. That's a tan. Them shorts made it hard. Jagged line with the scratches across the shorts, representing a massive scratch of a Raptors claw. Ouch! And they yes, are. it is nice to see the team wearing a uniform of Toronto across the front, even if. They'll be playing far, far away in Tampa, Florida. We the South. Here we have the Houston Rockets, and they are going with a very... They like Sacramento color. jerseys. You know, in regards to their franchise, they are going with a light blue, which appears to be a nod to their city flag seen here with the white star there. Across the chest, in white with the red so trim. All these jerseys look the same. Here, sort real. of the Rockets' own little informal nickname for the city of Houston. So I'm you ready for the, uh, the Christmas Day jersey. That's what I want to see. Here's the star of the show, the San Antonio Spurs, with a wonderful tribute to their... With the classic logo. The Spurs breathing much-needed life into a black and silver look with the inclusion of teal <laughs> and orange. Now, the Spurs never actually wore these colors on That's their uniforms hard. back in the day, but it was all over the place on logos and shooting shirts and other merchandise throughout the 90s. A welcome sight. So glad to see them <coughs> bringing back this old retro look. The they get like a, beyond the they tough for their city uniform this year, instead choosing to honor the entire Phoenix metropolitan they area, are. sometimes referred to as the Valley of the Sun. How appropriate. The uniform is black with a purple, red, and orange pixelated sunrise slash sunset. Bro, they is tough, bro. Yeah, they tough. They get like a they get a they get a nine for me. They hard. Over the Arizona desert and Camelback. With the pixelated the that, that's tough. All across the chest. That's different. In white. It's a celebration of the state of Oklahoma for the Thunder who will be wearing that the shit like a gas station uniform. Like where they give you a go to work if you at a gas station. Blue, orange, and black diagonally striped uniforms this season. Oklahoma is written across the front in a similar style as Oklahoma gas station. The state maps included on the waistband of the shorts and Unite is written in the lower left of the jersey to challenge themselves to reach further and aim higher together. 
Minnesota is known as the North Star State. That's plain. So they're all hockey team got their name after all. It'd be it'd be, be tough on the court if they they wore some green shoes though. The brand that little stripes out. Placed above the abbreviated team name in silver. Several white stars act as striking up the right yeah, side of the right. uniform and continue all the way down the side of the shorts. The Probably look better really when they put the green shoes on though. Uniform. And his hat that I got on. Portland Trailblazers are celebrating the spirit of Oregon, the beauty of this landscape, as well. The as details the on the jerseys hard though. Land their home since the beginning. The their jersey kind, their jersey kind of tough. Across the front, directly from a sign which shines in Old Town Portland. A topographic map makes up the base of the jersey, and a series of colorful stripes representing the colors yeah, the of the sunset make it hard. over the mountains run up the side. A portion of the net proceeds from Jersey sales will be donated to the Native American Youth and Family Center by both the Trailblazers and BioFreeze. They got a lot of good well, inspirations the for the, for the New Jersey too, Golden though. The State Warriors are showing their fans from They're like the old school they zones. forgotten about them with these brand new Oakland Forever uniforms. They tough because they look like the old school used zones. The old Warriors uniform style worn back in the early 2000s, which featured a logo with a god They're hurling hard. a lightning bolt. And yes, it was yeah, a The old school is hard. The Warriors played in Oakland for nearly 50 years before they moved across the bridge to their current home in 2019. Few things go hand in hand quite like Trash. the Wizards and a disappointing They get a foe. And that's right here, the, 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 the Wizards, they are The horrible. Wizards are going gray with the team's DC alternate logo. They're like, you can buy that shit from Burlington. Stripes pattern up either side of both the jersey and the shorts. There it is. And that does it. That's all 30 of the City Edition uniforms for 2021 it, in the NBA. What are your favorite? I think Phoenix. I love that Spurs Fiesta jersey. I think Phoenix might have the best thing. Phoenix or the, uh, or the Rockets. I mean, the Raptors. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm gone.